so it is I. It is me, Nikki, and I'm back. It is Sunday. I'm back at work, and yeah, seems like that's all I do lately. Um, I know that I kind of mentioned maybe trying to keep on conceiving, maybe to keep on going down this journey, but I just want to stick to my guns about it and just try hard not to because I can't see myself. Um, okay, so in order for me, if I did get pregnant, I just turned 39 years old on September 16th. Okay, so my birthday just passed, September 16th. And I, so I'm 39 years old. You know, so I'm, I'm not 40 yet. It's not like we have to try, but if it happens, then it happens. If it being over the next year or whatever, I guess we could. But like I said, it's really confusing. I don't know what to do. You know, is it him just talking because of peer pressure, all the others? I, how do I, I don't know. All I know is I wanted to like stick to my guns and have him have a vasectomy because like I said, I don't want to go through with another surgery. I have had one too many surgeries over the past seven years or so. And if you've watched my videos, then you know all of the surgeries and the procedures that I've had to do where they literally go inside of my stomach or go, you know, I've had surgery after surgery plus an emergency C-section. I do not need to be cut open again for no reason when it's so simple for the guy to just go get a vasectomy. Sorry, it's not that hard, it's not that difficult. And no, like if you wanna be intimate with your partner, you love your husband, you love your wife, you love your significant other, you're not gonna to wanna to use protection and condoms. Like I don't care who you are and you can say, well, just use protection if you don't wanna have a child. Go get your tubes tied. Hello, I only have one tube left anyway. Like the chances of me conceiving was pretty slim with nearest and I still did it was pretty slim but I said but I did it we did it um but it's but it's rare you know like what am I gonna, what am I gonna go and get a surgery for like to tie up my one tube I mean I don't know it's just stupid to get cut open for something so dumb that all he would have to do is just get a vasectomy it's not a surgery you know it's like an invasive procedure and he'll be healed within like what is it like four weeks or I don't know but it's not as much as as much as I would be having to heal so anyways I'm just putting that out there I love Mikey he loves me we're happy I would like I said like of course I would want a son I've never had a son before but I just, I, I wouldn't care either way but it's like I want to make sure he's being sure and not going to resent this decision to keep going you know what I mean just all because he's afraid to go get a vasectomy like I just think it's silly like I don't know <laughs> But anyways, I'm with me kind of thing. I don't know. I gotta mop. I gotta make coffees later. I gotta stack the coffee area. Maybe I'll do that later. I don't have much going on. Thank you to everyone who still subscribed. Like I said, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this channel anymore. I gotta, I, I gotta figure it out. Like, I just don't know. It just seems silly to keep going on with this channel when it was a TTC channel. And the followers who follow me, you guys like wanted to watch me with my TTC journey. And I'm so happy that you guys care about me enough to say like, oh, we don't, that you'll follow me no matter what. Or that you watch my channel no matter what. But it was never about the channel. It was never about, it was, it was always about trying to help people and like come with me as we all TTC together. That's what it was supposed to be about. So if I'm not, t if I'm not doing that, then it's like, I don't even know what else I want to do with this channel. It, was, it, it all started back when I found people who were trying to conceive, like trying to have a baby. And I followed them and I watched them and I was like, wow, I was like, you know what? After years and years, I was going through the same thing. And I felt like I had something to say. I felt like I had, and I felt like I had a journey too that I can share. And I was like, there has to be people out there with one fallopian tube like me. I was like, there has to be someone out there with one fallopian tube left like me. Although I had two working ovaries, I still have two working ovaries. But like I said, we conceived nearest like that. So you can do it just so if you have one fallopian tube and two working ovaries it is possible i'm here to say two years ago we conceived nearest well over two years ago obviously <laughs> it takes nine months in my stomach and then you know she's two years old and she was born june 8 uh june 18th so you know so it's possible you can do that uh 
man, I'm just all over the place because it's like, I don't know, I, I just, I'm excited, but I'm like sad and it's just a bittersweet and it's just like, so I'm just, I feel so blessed to have so many followers or just uh, supporters, just who supported me and I supported them, you guys, you know, we've all been here through this journey and um, yeah, so yeah, it's pretty cool. And I know I've been all over the place, so I, I've, throughout this journey, I'm, you know, I've always been all over the place with my videos. They would laugh, actually, and I'm, I've been called a dork and a square before, and not that I care about that. It's fine. I don't care. I don't care about that. But, uh, anywho, no. So, so, anyways, the comment just kind of made me laugh out loud. I thought it was cute. I thought it was sweet. Someone just trying to, to help me. Someone was literally trying to help me, though. They're like, man, you're all over the place. You got to get on one topic, bro. And I'm like, no, that's not going to work. That, that's not going to happen. And still to this day, anyone who knows me and who have followed me, who has followed me knows I talk fast. I walk around. I can't sit still. I, it's just, I'm hyper. I, I like have a million things I want to do, a million things I'm thinking about, and it all gets meshed together. I don't know. Okay. I'm done yapping. <sighs> don't know when the next video I will make. I don't know what it will be about, but I got a big rush of people a little bit ago, so it was crazy. Anyway, I'm about to go. Oh, shoot. But, like, I'm trying to be fast. I can't. What's really hard is that I'm at work, so it's, like, hard for me to, like, get back and say stuff. I was kind of dead. I didn't have a lot going on, but then I got a rush. And it was, like, a group of workers. And so that was, like, six peop six rooms. That I had to check in and each room wanted two beds so it was a double bed thing so they're workers with a company that I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say the name of the company but so I got really slammed with that and then they needed this and they needed that so I've, I've been busy so anyways I'm about to it's almost 10 o'clock p.m. and so I have my keys and I'm gonna go into the pool area and I'm, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and go in there and do my chores for the night so far, all I, the only thing I've been able to do so far is do other people's chores. So, I've been doing, like, the daytime people's chores plus... Because my nighttime chores, I can't do until, like, 10 p.m. I can't get into the pool area until, like, 10. So, I'm trying to do, like, keep up with everything else, if you know what I mean. So, did the coffees already, but I was slammed, so I couldn't record that. And I'm about to go into the pool area. I'll try to record, but if people come in, I'm not going to record obviously so no one's out there at the front desk i just I, like i said i did the coffee so the coffees i had to move from so in there it's in that lobby the main lobby all day but at night after like nine i have to i have to remake the coffees and put them in here for the morning for the cafe this actually isn't even my job it's like the morning person's job but she's like older so i like to have that ready for her so she doesn't have to lift those coffee mug lift those coffee things it, they're not that heavy to someone like me or maybe you but someone elder or older and you know it's it's heavy it's heavier for them um so i do that for her she loves me it's hard to believe i've been here since 2020 march 2020 when all the crazy madness was going around uh with the covid thing and I, uh, like I said, I was a housekeeper my whole life, and I've worked in the factory my whole life, and the factory work. Um, so, when I came here, I had an interview. It was supposed to be for housekeeping, something like part-time, because I just wanted part-time, because, um, Mikey, you know, full-time, you know, he, salary manager and stuff like that, and I just wanted to stay home with my two girls, and I was able to do that because of him, but I still wanted to make money for my girls, you know, duh, obviously. Um, well, anyways, that was in 2020. Then all the COVID stuff happened and it's just been crazy. It was crazy, like maybe two years, but after that, like we started picking back up and it's been crazy. And I was like, so in my first interview, my boss was like, I want you to be trained for um front desk too because i think that you'd be great at front desk Hold on. 
So anyways, when I first started back in 2020, before COVID hit and all the madness happened, I was actually interviewed here to just be half time being a housekeeper. And then my manager was like, no, no, I think you would be great being front desk. And because she knew all my experience of being housekeeper for years and years. And then I guess she just was like, no, I want you to be front desk. And I was so scared. And, you know, I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to be front desk. It's like something that, so if you've ever done anything that's like out of your comfort zone, um, I don't know how to explain it something that you're just you're not familiar with and you never really like thought you could do it I was like that <laughs> and I was like hmm no I don't know if I want to do that being a front desk like receptionist where I'm checking in the guests and stuff like that like I said I've had so much ex experience being a housekeeper that I was like that's where my comfort is and I would rather do that I know yeah, it's easy for me but no, this is easier. And now I've been here, what? So March, 2025 will be five years. So yeah, anyone who's afraid to be a front desk receptionist, don't be afraid. It's really fun. It's um, it's something, it's unique, it's different. But if, if that's up your alley, you like talking to people and meeting people from all around the world. And I mean, I meet people who have passports. It's kind of scary. <laughs> It's kind of scary right now because I do, not scary, but like I do have people from like Guatemala that, that I've checked in. I have people from like, you know, they're coming in from all these different places, but they're nice to me. Not, they can't really speak English that much, but <sighs> hey, hey, they're nice and I check them right in. So I got to do what I got to do. It's my job. But anyways, be right back. Maybe I'll record when I go into that pool area. And you can follow me as I like, you know, I got to put like pool chairs on the chairs and I pull towels on the chairs and I have to empty the hamper, uh, you know, wipe down stuff. But sometimes the daytime person has to do that too. So the person before me had to like wipe down windows and stuff. So there's not much for me to do really in there, but. All right. <clears throat> <sighs> so I. Wanted to see, guys. So, in this cafe is where I spend most of my time. Because I watch TV, I do, you know, all my stuff. But it's a pretty nice, quiet night. I only have two floors to this hotel, and it's nice and quiet. So, it's almost time for me to leave. And, um, the person coming in after me is coming. So, I gotta go brush my teeth because I just got done eating. And then, I have to get into the pool area to do my nighttime floors. So, for now, I'm going into the, to the restroom. So, you can't come in there with me. So... all the pool towels are pretty much stocked yeah looking good looking good looking good everybody so anyway pool towels are all where they're supposed to be One thing we always get is compliments about this hotel and the pool. The pool area is really nice. 
so you know. You get like a little deck up here. You step up, get up there. I mean, you can't really have food or drinks in here. They used to, but like they had one bad incident where like the people were totally drunk and literally like left cakes and pizza, like just, it was a mess. So, yeah, so some people do ruin it for others, unfortunately. So, you know, for anyone out there at a hotel, know that if there's rules, it's because someone before you made a big mess or they did something to ruin it for someone else. So don't be that person. Thank you all uh, for subscribing, sticking around, clicking, watching videos, all that. I hope you want to stick around still, but if you don't, that's okay, because I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I don't know. I got Mikey saying I just need to end the channel completely, um, you know, because he's like really, uh, he's like really shy, kind of, and he's like that kind of guy that's like, I don't want no one knowing our business anyway. I like it I feel like I'm I've been helping people and even if I'm not still trying to conceive which you know it is what it is I can still have my channel right anyway I gotta get out of here so this door is confusing so you gotta push in and then you're gonna hold this and pull but listen I have mastered oh there's my glasses okay hold on let me get my glasses okay so I gotta get my glasses back so this door, look, no one ever really uses that, but there it is. Anyway, watch, you push in, and then with your hand strength, you pull, okay? So there's tricks to it. Anyways, I'm gonna end this because I got my nighttime person about to come in, but I didn't have to do anything. Grab them, yeah, so he's gonna grab the holly berries, mom. Mm -hmm. That's right. Holly, jolly, holly, holly for Merry Christmas, you know? Now let's turn the page. <laughs> but suddenly, soft white flakes began falling all around him. One flake <laughs> fell on a little mouse's nose. Oh, oh no! Maeve sneezed! Achoo! Goodness! <laughs>